Okay, so I literally just woke up to a bunch of pissed off comments in my German video because I even kind of disabled comments for the English one. And I get why a lot of people, but even that a lot doesn't really mean that much. That's a small minority that you see now. But I guess most of you are upset because there was an explanation, kind of no warning. And I guess after almost six years, I at least owe you that, some answers and so on. And I will give you that. But the reason why that short video didn't say much more than I'm gonna just ditch English and it sounded maybe harsh and... The reason why there was no explanation was simply the fact that I had a lot of things that I wanted to say. And this video would have turned out way too long. And I know from experience that none of you really ever cared for what I had to say besides the reviews. And I noticed that I, I came up with reasons and excuses and wanted to kind of tell you why the whole thing happened the way it happened. And therefore... I made it super short and therefore maybe went too short I, because a lot of people said there was no thank you. But at that point, I was so down. I was so disappointed by the whole thing because it was hard for me to kind of ditch a project where I got to meet so many people, had so many um, loyal long-term viewers, a lot of loyal commenters. And it is sad for me to see that I kind of ditch them but at at the other hand on the other hand i i couldn't do it any longer and well the thing is also for example some gadget guy said it already so many times if you if a channel is so important for you you have to support it and supporting is not just passively watching you have to comment you have to like you have to share the video you have to show them that it means something, especially since it's not my job. And for me, it's extra work every time after my job, spending pretty much my whole free time doing two videos. And it was a very hard task. And it was a lot of pressure to always have to put up two videos, especially when videos sometimes came up where it was very hard to kind of recreate the whole thing. So, I mean, now people are asking me why all of a sudden, it's not all of a sudden. I said it in so many videos, but that's the thing. Those videos got like 500 views. So I absolutely get, or I actually don't get it why people are surprised now. In those videos, I talked about the struggle of what went through after I went to the US and I changed the name. It seemed like uh, like 80% of my English viewers kind of were gone. I didn't get any interaction all of a sudden. I didn't get any comments. I nearly didn't get the views like before because my ratio was always free to at least five, if not 10 times more than the German videos. And now the German videos are in most cases doing better, especially about the audio gear and all these kind of things. And it's not about the money. It's not about the views because if it would be for that, I would keep going because after all, I lose like four or 500 euros a month now due to kind of ditching English. But at, at one point I had to see, I was so miserable for the last two, three months seeing those numbers, seeing that I'm a 100,000 subscriber channel and I get five or 600 views on certain audio videos. That was every time a slap in my face. I spent weeks reviewing something, spent hours or like, let's say after work with those two videos, a whole day and then to get like, a dollar back and 500 views with five comments. That is just something that after a while piles up. And I, how can I find the motivation when I see that my content doesn't want to get watched? Because if you are a YouTuber and you put out so many videos like I do, you want some kind of appreciation in terms of views, in terms of interaction. That's the main part. It's not the money. If I would want the money that I make in a month of YouTube, I could just have a second job, but that's not the thing. This for me was always a hobby. It was supposed to be fun. And for the last few months, it wasn't fun. It was such a big struggle because I tried to get back from, from the valley that I had what happened. Because if you look at my, just look at my social blade. It was the, the point when I had the, the, the US videos in the US, it dropped down 
and I gave it a whole year. I fought and I put out so many videos. I tried to improve a few things. Didn't want to change too much because I didn't want to change the whole premise of the of the channel and so on. So that's why not much happened. But I mean, look at the um, uh, of the definition of insanity. Doing the whole thing over and o the same thing over and over again, expecting a different result. That's what what I was did because I did the same old videos because I wanted to be consistent. But nothing has changed, and obviously, I guess most of you who are actually upset now are just my my phone viewers, my phone review viewers, and that's a part of it. For me, the channel is more than just phones because you can only review so many phones a year, and I already even though it's part-time or as a hobby reviewed way more phones than so many full-time channels do with a whole staff and i reviewed like two years ago i would i reviewed over 60 phones the last year almost 40 50 phones i'm not quite sure and this year already so many and those got an acceptable amount of views but if i make 300 videos a year and only like 30 or 40 get the views what, what what do you think happens with all the all the other 200 videos because for example do you 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 cannot imagine how bad i feel every time i make a, a hangout with andrew we talk two hours and I, I i come back two hours and and i lose and i see this in the stats 30 subscribers every time get 500 800 maybe sometimes a thousand views that shows me that you aren't interested and when i'm saying you obviously i'm over generalizing because there are a few people there is a loyal core but that loyal core after all is like maybe three or five hundred people and 500 people out of a hundred thousand that i have at some point just isn't enough because you feel like you are i'm i'm doing youtube for six years now and numbers went down and this shows me that whatever i'm doing and that's what i said in my video why i said that i feel like a loser i couldn't from my standpoint get it back up i couldn't change enough about the channel i maybe wasn't willing to change enough about the channel maybe i know a lot of people want fancy videos but i mean for six years i didn't do that so why should i start it now that that was never my thing i personally don't like scripted videos i personally don't like those fancy videos i like them down to earth and that's what i did but if not enough people want to watch it i simply as long as i fought and tried to keep that going couldn't at some point and now I guess no one even watches that until this point in time. But I get so many comments. Why not just make subtitles? Just make subtitles. I don't know what you expect me to do. How are subtitles gonna supposed to change anything? First of all, if even if subtitles would appear, why would people watch this video now if they didn't watch the proper English video? Because th there was always an English video for every German one and English one. The English one, since out of tradition, was actually always the first take. Always every video that I made, I started in English. And then I kind of in my head had to translate into German. So German was always the second tier here. And now, all of a sudden, because if I look at the comments, I got like, let's say, maybe 50 people asking me for comments. That's 50 people. In reality, that's maybe that. I think maybe those 50 people would watch those videos with subtitles. But that's that. It's not like a, a, a bunch of thousands of people are going to do that now. And the thing is also, where are those subtitles supposed to come from? Because there is this kind of auto-generated thing. If I don't know how to even activate it. Because usually every video, I think, has some kind of auto-generation. But I don't usually know where subtitles are supposed to come from. But people tell me, just make them. I don't know how you think, or maybe maybe try to do a video, maybe make a video and try to make subtitles for it. I have no idea how much effort it is, but it has to be more than even making a new video. Because my videos are like half an hour long. You can't even imagine how many words those are, how much text that is. And translating that by my own, and I'm not a translator or something like that, and it definitely wouldn't happen fast, would take me way longer. And... If you want to do that professionally, you have to pay for it. And I, I don't know how much it costs, but I guess it's depending on length or something. But I've seen it once and it's not cheap. And my videos generally don't even nearly make money being worth it on its own. And if I would have to spend now video on, uh, money on subtitles, 
which people didn't even watch in the first place when they didn't need subtitles wouldn't help. So if anyone wants to, someone said me, I could maybe activate subtitles that viewers can make them. If, if, if someone tells me how I can make that, because that, that's not an issue for me, but I'm sure that no one's gonna do that. It's just too much work. So to kind of sum it up, it wasn't all of a sudden. I made enough signs, kind of like outcries that this isn't working anymore for me. And people are telling me maybe I'll change my mind. Yeah, sure, it could happen. That's why I specifically this time didn't say there won't be ever any English videos because I mean, it might be, it might be that after a month I'll, I'll miss it because for me, the, the English the channel started in English. And once I said, I will never stop it and I will always keep doing the English stuff first. And I did that for such a long time. But if this is for me, the, the, the most saddening part, there are 80 million German viewers plus some Austrian and Swiss ones. So there are maybe 100 possible, 100 million possible German viewers. And people, I guess, kind of don't consider one thing. They are telling me, but the English videos weren't that bad. They got about the same amount of views like the German videos. But that's the thing. First of all, they bear, they almost got the same. On most videos, especially the audio stuff, which is the one thing close to my heart, the, the most important thing that I also tried for one year to kind of get going and didn't. But that's still something that I will keep pursuing because it's just my own personal kind of passion. But those got 500, 600 views, 800 views. Sometimes there were a few ones and people are telling me now that the reason therefore that I don't get many views is simply because I, I review things outdated. I'm way too late usually and yada, yada, yada. Yes, but how could I be more recent? I have a full-time job. I don't make the money here to live off of that. And I never wanted to, I never forced it because if I would have worked a lot more with affiliate stuff or anything like that, which I didn't, because for me, the premise was, and that's something that just not a enough people have appreciated is I'm trying to inform you that you spent your money right. And that's, and that's the reason why I am so nitpicky. The reason is just because there is no gray zone. You either buy otherwise or you don't buy it. There is no, okay, this phone is good enough. I'll maybe, I'll kind of buy it. You buy it or you don't buy it. And if you buy it, I don't want you to be disappointed because for me, that's the thing. Personally, for me, since I am such a nitpicky person, it's so hard to find certain devices. And I would have such a hard time finding many devices throughout the year that I could recommend. And that's why I don't recommend more of them. And this whole thing has to do with that fact. And well, then looking that there are billions of English speaking peoples and I don't even get the same number. Like I said in the beginning, my, my, my ratio before was at least three, five or way more times to what I had in English. And now having so much less, even though the potential viewership could be so bigger, so much bigger. And I get, especially on the content that wasn't a review, no interaction, no views, no comments, no nothing. So what possibly could ma motivate me? If it, if I would be a channel that would live off of that, it wouldn't matter because I have to do those videos because it's my job. That's how I earn my, my bread, but it isn't. And even if I would want to continue now at this point, I can't because I got so, I don't, I don't really have the word right now, but I got so sad to see that I couldn't keep it up. I got so sad that I, whatever I tried, those numbers can't be bad. And maybe, maybe it has even to do with the channel change name and that, at that moment, the algorithm change. And maybe the issue is that whenever you release two videos at the same time, one in English, one in German, the YouTube algorithm doesn't like that and he couldn't properly push it. And I know a lot of people told me already back then, why don't you split the channel? But then I would have, if I would have had two separate channels, I would have compromised on one. Because I know, for example, there is a German um, channel who has, I think, like almost 300,000 subscribers 
on its German content. He started to do English content, I don't know when, but that channel has like 20,000 subs. And when I look at what he does there, he only does unboxings. He doesn't do full proper reviews or something like that. So you make, he makes the compromise because I guess it's not worth more effort. And if I would have made that, I would have had to make a, a compromise on one channel. And that was just something that I never wanted. Because just look at my content. For three years, whenever it was possible, I made two versions. Obviously not for the interviews or for some specific videos that you just can't recreate. I made two videos. That was not twice the amount of effort because you review once but making the video pretty much as similar as possible again and people actually in the past asked me how even that's possible it wasn't easy it was a lot of work and it was so hard to nail the content twice as much at the same time so for all those people who think I, I made that decision lightheartedly or I made it over uh, maybe overnight and s someone said for me, sleep over it, maybe think about it. I slept over it for almost a year. And you cannot imagine how much in my in inside myself I had to struggle, especially through the last few days. Because someone also, for example, told me, but in the German video you said you will keep up the German content for about, uh, the English content for about a month. That was the plan. But once I told it my German viewers, the urge inside myself was so extreme that I just, I just, it just overwhelmed me. I just had to kind of make a hard cut. And now people are telling me, why not just at least make the English videos for the important reviews? Well, well, that's the, the thing. Someone told me when I said I want, might for a while only do the important stuff, and he said, no. Either you give us the full content or you don't give us anything. And as harsh as this answer was, I get it. Because whenever I wouldn't release, and that's the issue. Someone just yesterday told me, why not just make the important reviews in English? If I would do that, every time I wouldn't do it, People then started asking, where's the English video? And I want that because there are, if I, for example, would say, okay, this is a headphone review, that's not that important because usually they don't get any views. Let's just make it only in German. Then <laughs> the small, loud minority of people who watch those videos after all, like those two or 300 people would ask, where's the video? And if that would happen once, they would say, okay, maybe next time. But if that would happen over time or more and more again, they would say, why should I even subscribe to this channel? Because the videos that I want to watch, he doesn't even make anymore. And yeah, I think, see, this is the video that I didn't want to do because I don't know who this will help. Maybe it will be closure for some people. Maybe it won't. And it's not something that I wanted to do, but I simply, this is what I said. I mean, at this point, if I would continue doing it after I pretty much, like I said, closed the chapter in my in my heart because I just had to accept it. I'm done. I'm out of it. I, I can't do it anymore. I tried my best for a year, a whole year, and my best simply wasn't good enough. That means that I am not good enough to achieve that what I wanted to kind of get it back up because if I look at my numbers now compared to what they were like a year or two years before I'm at less than half and this means there is simply and I'm not saying no interest because there are always a few people wanting it but there is simply not enough feasible interest for me to keep this going since by now I, I'm out of motivation I, I took motivation out of nowhere for a year and there's simply nothing left. The, the the jar is empty. And if I would keep continue doing videos now, it would be just an empty shell of mine. Because someone also said, for example, make a quick video, make a short, rough, raw video. Just tell us your opinion. <sighs> just think about it. I made real proper English videos that didn't get views. Even though it's not about the views, but interaction and all these kind of things. Now, why all of a sudden now would those raw videos even get any views? So I don't know what else to say. And about the whole, a, a lot of people got pissed off for why no thanks, nothing. And I was disrespectful to the viewers. No, I mean, I get it. 
I owe a lot of you a lot. Because after all, English is what made the channel big at, at some point, And I will see how big it will stay after all the English viewers are gone. Which I don't expect to be much. So the thing though is numbers never matched. If I see I have 100,000 subscribers and get 500 views. I mean, make the math. That's not a whole lot of percentage. And... I mean, I don't want to be that hard because yeah, the first moment when I saw someone saying you didn't say thanks, I thought, what would I be thankful for? Because you cannot imagine the struggle that I had for one year. I was so miserable. I was so sad. I was so disheartened. I was so angry that whatever I did, no one seemed to bother, especially when I see that I make a German stream get 140, 150 consistent viewers. And on the English one, I get like 20 or 30, maybe 40. So obviously now the people who are pissed off are only seeing their perspective because they get something taken away that they like. But this is the thing. I disabled comments and also the, the like and dislike ratio because I, I wanted this to be over behind me and I didn't want to see it, but I actually didn't know that YouTube still shows me those. And now all those people who maybe think that I don't see them, I see them. And if I see the amount of dislikes that I got compared to the amount of likes that I got, it kind of shows me once again why this whole ditching the English content seems to be the right decision. Because if you would stand behind me and huge credit and huge thank you to all the people who said what a few people in the comments said, we get it, it was a lot of extra work. We, we appreciate the years that you gave us content and all these kind of things. But I also get comments that now hate on me, not knowing the full picture. So now you know it, but I am absolutely positive. And stats and numbers, viewers' attention will show me this. No one, or maybe like 5%, if at all, will watch this video up to this point in time and will even notice. And obviously, th there is not a whole lot of videos where people watch like 100% or a big chunk of it because the average, that's a YouTube thing that's just normal, is at like 20 or 30%. But once again, on my, on my German videos, it's consistently 10% more. So... I'm not saying that the German viewers are much better because last time someone asked me why this and that and I said I don't get enough appreciation from the English side and he said but Germans do like in a little bit of a salty tone but I get that and yeah they aren't perfect either because my dislike ratio to like ratio usually is actually even slightly worse on a German ones because German viewers are a little bit yeah more uptight and sometimes not also that appreciative i get that but there are after all more people that really genuinely liked my content and told me that because for example on all those videos that i did make in german and english when i made a rambling of half an hour and i've talked about being down and i've talked about depression and i've talked about everything it was every time so in an extreme ratio so much more obvious that they cared because i got like 150 200 likes every time with comments telling me get your head up high go over it forget the haters you will get over the bump you do a great job and all these kind of things and i barely got maybe five of those or 10 maybe in the english views and that just shows me and i mean i get it it is and that's something you shouldn't forget and something actually that I make myself too important myself for. It's just a YouTube channel. People move on. There are so many alternatives out there. Just watch Tech Tablets reviews. I know that his videos are a lot more appreciated because he's way more objective. He does the whole thing the way people want to see it and not the way I want to see That I do it because I'm after all too subjective or too extreme when i see something like i see it i let you know that exactly in that way and no other way and there are enough alternatives to kind of and if if i'm gone there are two or three hundred people that will miss me at best and the rest will just move on because <laughs> yeah i i asked you to unsub 
and well you listened because in only about eight hours i already lost a thousand subs that's what i need about three weeks to earn with the current rate which was still english and german so that shows me that people have listened and that's what i want because someone was actually upset and told me i'm gonna upset unsub because you didn't thank your viewers at all you were disrespectful okay but after all i asked you to answer there I mean, some will, some will maybe stay here on, they said, and will wait if I change my mind. And it might happen. It might happen. But I'm not going to count on it because the way I feel inside of myself right now, I said this in my German video, I feel like a mountain has been lifted off of me. Because you cannot imagine the double pressure. You cannot imagine of how hard it was. That was for me the hardest thing to see how much effort work and time besides my job i put into it and how little i get back and this is not about money this is not about views it's about appreciation and if you do this because i mean at some point you make if you make any hobby six years long people told me what are you expecting why are you looking for subs and so on you want something back you want some appreciation and sub numbers is one sort of appreciation view numbers or good words and that's what you get in some other spots as well if you for example do a sport you want the fans to cheer for you if you do anything a little bit more than just on the side because there are a lot of people just biking or ju just hooping all the time or just running but they have their own goals now it's th something different if you give your goal i'm gonna walk 10 miles every day and you reach that that's something you get on your own but everywhere where you have some stuff coming in from the outside and for six years that stays the same at some point it's not worth it anymore or it's worth nothing anymore because just look at it if you do the same thing for six years and you see no growth you see no improvement you see no nothing What well, what's it worth it if if it's not fun anymore? Because if you do, for example, a sport, there's at least not a bunch of people telling you every time that your opinion sucks, that you have no idea what you're doing, that you suck, that you're an idiot. And those things come in as well. And I even didn't even talk about that because I'm someone who puts way too much emphasis on the bad stuff. I did that for a long time and that was something that always dragged me down more than it should because if I look at the ratio of other people that appreciate my job, um, what I did in the comments compared to how many didn't like it at all, the ratio was small. But every YouTuber, I guess, especially the smaller ones, knows know, know that a bad comment kind of equalizes out like at least 10 or 20 positive comments. And when I see other people's ratios, if I every time check a, a, a similar big channel or a other slightly bigger channel and I see them getting with the same amount as me, like 10 times the amount of likes that shows me if you can't even press the button or if you're not willing to press the button showing me that you like the video and I see, well, that shows it not enough or not a lot, almost no one likes the video. Yeah. Yeah, I'm 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 after all not a really like a person so that's that. If you feel better now, sorry for the odd ending. Thank you for all the support. Thank you for everything, but just keep in mind that, and I'm not saying this because of me, but if you really appreciate your your favorite channels go to them right now and tell them that because juan says it so many times and he's quite salty by now and he's in a similar state as as i sometimes am it just looks like that to me someone who's in that position sees that but since he kind of makes a living out of youtube in general with obviously the rest that he has going on he, he kind of has to move on but he has his very loyal patrons and makes a lot of money up for that and there he gets his appreciation it's a very small loyal core but in some way the moment 
someone is willing to give you one buck or two bucks or five bucks a month and those are maybe just 100 people those 100 people can be more worth than 10,000 people if you know those are consistently willing to spend the money out of their pocket because the normal youtuber doesn't do that you you don't pay for my content it's for free and someone actually in the comments told me when someone was pissed off he doesn't owe you anything you got for six years free content so you can't complain now people then in the past told me when they were salty i pay i pay with my time having to watch the ads first of all the ads i don't really i i put one ad in that's so you can watch it free you pay YouTube premium, you don't have any ads. And I don't get a lot of pre YouTube premium money. I get, I think like seven, seven or 8% at best on good months is what I get from YouTube Red. The rest is normal AdSense. And that is not a whole lot because I know channels way smaller than mine that make a living out of YouTube from other things that I don't. But yeah, I, I digress and... I definitely didn't finish off the channel in the right way. But yeah, you got your answers. I got my closure. I, I can't give you more than that. Bye.